What exactly happens with your ex? What's their experience when they see you moving on? That is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. This might be a little bit surprising for you, and if you want to reconnect with them, we're gonna show you how you can do that by opening up some new doors of possible connection. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Hey there, it's Clay with ModernLove.Life. And of course, today we're talking about what exactly happens when your ex sees you moving on. Now, initially, the first thing they may experience, depending on where things are between the two of you, is they might actually experience a little bit of relief. You know, if, if there was a little bit of, you know, neediness or clinginess or high emotional drama or something like that, um, when they start to see you moving on, they can feel relieved because suddenly they have a bit more space in their life. You know, you're not looking to them to direct how you feel. You're not necessarily looking to them to guide you or to, to validate you or something like that. And so they might feel a little bit of relief. They also might feel relief um, knowing that you're kind of taking care of yourself and moving on and that you're, you seem to be happy and all that sort of stuff. So they might actually feel that way. What can also happen is as you're moving on, they're gonna get this sense that the door between the two of you is starting to close. That is to say, you know, when they break up with you, they might think, oh, okay, well, I always have the option of trying to get back together or saving that relationship. Um, but when they start to see you move on, it start, they're starting to basically see that the train is leaving the station and that they may not necessarily be able to keep you as an option forever. It's not to say they're necessarily doing it out of any sort of, you know, nefarious manipulative reasons. People have a hard time with certainty. They have a hard time with like, yes, I'm burning this bridge forever, I'm closing this door forever. And people don't like that. And so when your ex sees you moving on, they're confronted with that, and so it may compel them to potentially check themselves and say, hey, is it, is it, is it true that I actually don't want to have this door open any longer? Is it true that I don't want to stay connected to this person? Am I making the right choice? Do I actually value them? Do I actually want to reconnect with them? Do I actually want to be closer with them? And so your ex may ask themselves many of these questions. Um, and if you do want to connect with them, if you do want to actually have a relationship with them, you want to take advantage of this shift in the dynamic of them feeling the train leaving the station. Because they may see the train leaving the station and they may tell themselves some story of like, yeah, well, we weren't that great together, we fought all the time or whatever. But if you want to actually demonstrate to them that the two of you can have a strong emotional bond and connection with one another, then here's exactly what you need to do. Before we go ahead and get into that though, if you like this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm and please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon, just like how I hear a church bell in the distance right now, um, so that you can get notified when we are posting and uploading new videos. Uh, I also like to go live and do live streams uh, pretty often, so um, I'd love to be able to, to chat with you in the live chat and to connect with you and answer some questions, but you're probably not going to know if I'm going live unless you turn those notifications on by hitting that bell icon and subscribing to this channel. Okay, so what can you do if you actually want to leverage this fact of your ex feeling this pull toward, to reconnect with you if they see you moving on? Well, what you want to do is, number one, you want to really demonstrate to them that you are value add to their life. That is to say that there's a benefit for them to have you in their life. What is it, right? So, like, what's the benefit of them having you? And, you know, I don't know that people often, you know, think poorly of themselves, but uh, and there's like, yeah, there's nothing special about me. But I want you to actually start thinking about this and say, like, okay, what are you up to in life? What are you going after? Are you allowing yourself to go after your dreams and become the kind of person that you want to be? Or are you just kind of hanging out? If you're just hanging out, your ex might say, hey, am I, am I sure about this? You know, the train's leaving the station. They might be like, eh, well, they're not really up to a whole lot. I'll just let them go. Um, but on the other hand, if you're doing something interesting, if you're, you know, starting that business, if you're traveling the world, if you're, you know, making those connections in your community, if you're really starting that charity, if you're volunteering, if you're making a difference in your life, if you're going after whatever is important to you, then that is going to be something that could push them over the edge to actually want to really, you know, pursue you and see where that goes. Second of all, they actually have to have a positive sentiment towards the two of you. That is to say, they actually have to have a positive emotional experience when it comes to how they think about you and how they think about your time together. So if you have the opportunity to actually interact with them and to connect with them, you wanna make sure you leverage that to your benefit by focusing in on that emotional connection with the advanced relational skills, video playlist up there if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, 
and uh, really building that emotional bond as we've talked about on so many videos on this channel. And then the third thing is that you really have to demonstrate to them that you represent a hope for them of a better life and a better tomorrow. If we're going to get into a relationship with someone, it's going to be because that person or that relationship represents to us some sort of hope, some sort of hope that something can be positive about tomorrow, some sort of hope that we can get something great in life, some sort of hope that our life can move in a positive direction and that relationship can be part of it. It's not necessarily to say that your ex is using you, although they could, but they just want to know that if they get together with you, it's going to bring positivity to their life. It's going to lead to something great and positive and uplifting. And so that's another great reason to actually live your life in alignment with values that are important to you, connection, um, pursuing what's important to you and all that, because that's just going to show them that, hey, as this train leaves, it actually has a destination. So if I decide to catch this train as it's leaving the station, we're actually going somewhere. We're not just going to hang out on the couch and play video games and Netflix and chill and all that sort of stuff, but we're actually going to be going somewhere and doing something meaningful with our lives. Um, and so the key element here is, of course, aligning yourself with the values and what's important to you, but also creating a strong and unshakable emotional connection. That is absolutely critical. And if you really want to learn more about how to do that, the next thing I'd really strongly recommend you check out is this video playlist right over here on advanced relational skills. These are the skills that I've been teaching to people for well over a decade that have been helping them save their relationships and create emotional connections where things have been really struggling. So please make sure you check out this video playlist next. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.